Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. Today is Wednesday. We're in that fourth week of Advent. And in fact, this is our last uh, Advent Mass before we hit Christmas Eve. And so that we can prepare our hearts to be truly prepared for Christmas Eve. Uh, let us call to mind our sins. Let us call to mind the need for the light of Christ. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, as we see how the nativity of your Son, according to the flesh, draws near, we pray that to us, your unworthy servants, mercy may flow forth from your word, who chose to become flesh of the Virgin Mary, and establish among us his dwelling, Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. Thus says the Lord God, Lo, I am sending my messenger in prepare to prepare the way before me, and suddenly there will come to the temple the Lord whom you seek, and the messenger of the covenant whom you desire. Yes, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts, but who will endure the day of his coming? Who can stand when he appears? For he is like the refiner's fire, or like the fuller's lie. He will sit refining and purifying silver. And he will purify the sons of Levi, refining them like gold or like silver, that they may offer due sacrifice to the Lord, then the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem will please the Lord, as in the days of old, as in the years gone by. Lo, I will send you Elijah the prophet, before the day of the Lord comes, the great and terrible day, to turn the hearts of the fathers to their children, and the hearts of the children to their fathers, lest I come and strike the land with doom. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm is, Lift up your heads and see, your redemption is near at hand. Lift up your heads and see, your redemption is near at hand. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God, my Savior. Lift up your heads and see, your redemption is near at hand. Good and upright is the Lord, thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice, he teaches the humble his way. Lift, Lift up, up your heads and see, see. your redemption, redemption is near at hand. hand. All the paths of the Lord are kindness and constancy toward those who keep his covenant and his decrees. The friendship of the Lord is with those who fear him and his covenant for their instruction. Lift, Lift up, up your, your heads, heads and see, see. the redemption, redemption of the Lord, Lord is at hand. Hallelujah. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. O King of all the nations and Keystone of the Church, come and save man whom you formed from the dust. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Lord, be in our minds, on our lips, and in our hearts. When the time arrived for Elizabeth to have her child, she gave birth to a son. Her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown his great mercy towards her, and they rejoiced with her. When they came on the eighth day to circumcise the child, 
They were going to call him Zechariah after his father. But his mother said in reply, No, he will be called John. But they answered her, There is no one among your relatives who has this name. So they made signs asking his father what he wished him to be called. He asked for a tablet and wrote, John is his name. And all were amazed. Immediately his mouth was opened and his tongue freed, and he spoke, blessing God. Then fear came upon all their neighbors, and all these matters were discussed throughout the hill country of Judea. All who heard these things took them to heart, saying, What then will this child be? For surely the hand of the Lord is with him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So uh, I heard in the antiphon, the gospel antiphon, uh, come and save man whom you formed from the dust. And someone just sent me an email, uh, some, some humor, and one of them said, I heard that man uh, comes from the dust and returns to the dust. And that's why I don't dust in my house. I could be dusting one of my friends. Ah, ha, ha. Yeah. No, we are dust, and unto dust we shall return. But this is where God gives us so much meaning. Now we're not just dust, but now we become stardust. Today in the sky is the great star where Jupiter and Saturn align. Here in Michigan, we can't see it because of the cloud cover, but it's there. The star is aligned to where it's almost the star of Bethlehem, we suppose, some of us. And so, in some ways, today we become stardust. We are dust, but not just dust. We are the dust of our Lord Jesus Christ. We have become what God has called us to be. God and humanity are joined together. Some say God and man at table are sat down, but in Jesus, in Christmas, in just a couple days, humanity and divinity are joined uh, let's prepare our hearts to be joined with God this time so that we can become those stars that people need in our world, uh, those lights that people need in our world. And in our world, we see so many, so many shining brightly in these dark times. And that's our faith, to shine brightly in dark times. And what a wonderful call, what a wonderful challenge right now for all of us. And what a wonderful faith we have. The intention of today's Mass is whatever uh, you choose. We've started a, a special prayer request for Father uh, Bob McGraw. Uh, if you pray for him to have a, a speedy full recovery from COVID, that his symptoms remain mild, and that he's able to return to us soon. We, pr we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our church, that our church might truly in these dark times shine as a light. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for our world, that they might see the light of Christ in a new way and respond and become all that God created us to be. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our Holy Redeemer, our wonderful church, that uh, in this time we might grow together, grow strong, and grow more in the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have died. Uh, we pray especially for Margaret Carvo. Uh, she died today, and uh, her funeral will be Monday. Uh, and for all who have died, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who grieve, that they might be consoled, especially uh, the Carvo and McConzick families in our parish. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way, of course, Father Bob, but all who suffer from COVID and all who suffer in any way, uh, someone contacted me, they're having heart surgery soon. Uh, Lord, for all who ask us to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those unspoken prayers within every heart, watching the Mass, participating in the Mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we bring all these prayers to you, our loving Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. 
it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. And by the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, we ask you to receive us, to be pleased with the sacrifice we offer in humble and contrite hearts. And Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sins. And now pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation by which <coughs> divine worship in its fullness has been inaugurated for us be our perfect reconciliation with you, O Lord, that we may celebrate with minds made pure the nativity of our Holy Redeemer, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for all the oracles of the prophets foretold him. The Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks and praise, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Earl, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, 
informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who Lord, art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on her sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. May this be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, bring us all to everlasting life. Qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, Qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Lord Jesus Christ, with faith in your love and mercy, eat your body, drink your blood. Let us pray our spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now physically receive you at this moment, come spiritually into my heart. You are already there. I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Do not let me ever be separated from you. Amen. Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep me safe for eternal life. your hearts be troubled, nor your fears remain, for the Lord is near to you, he gives you rest, he gives you rest, so let us reach our we lift up our voice to the King who comes to us. So let us prepare, awaken us to the lover of our Let us pray. Grant your peace, O Lord, to those you have nourished with these heavenly gifts, that we may be ready with lighted lamps to meet your dearly beloved Son at his coming, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And if you can go, I'll go on our Facebook site. I believe it should be up by the time this Mass shows. And uh, just uh, find that prayer request for Bob and just make a comment, give him your love, let him know you're praying and supporting him. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.